Hi, and welcome to How to Repair. Today we're actually going to make one of these clothesline holders, and we're going to be needing a washing machine drum, and you will need to remove the spider off the back. This is what actually holds it through the bearings onto the drum. And this is what normally goes wrong with a washing machine, but because the manufacturers are building sealed drums, it's not economic to repair them. So you would be able to use your old washing machine drums for a plant holder or also a clothesline holder. So the first thing we need to do is to put a set of wheels on. Now you really want to get the heavy duty ones uh, because we're going to be filling this full of concrete uh, to support the clothesline holder, uh, which you saw in the picture just then, it's going to weigh about 200 kilos altogether. So you really want to get the high rated wheels, which they use on the toolboxes. You can normally buy these on eBay for under 10 pounds for a set. And what you will get in these sets normally is just the wheel uh, with the shaft and you will need to get a couple of washers uh, to support the drum. Now the way these fix on is you would use a sturdy washer on the bottom. So put that on first, put it through the old hole, put the other washer on and do the nut up. And once you've got all these three on, You'll need to do them up tightly with a spanner. You've got plenty of room to get a socket in here as well. Now once you've actually got your wheels onto the drum and it's, these have got locking tabs because it's off a toolbox so you can lock them in place to stop them moving around. It's a good idea to spray this with a lacquer. And the reason I say this is the shafts on these are not stainless steel on the wheels. So it's a good idea to spray it with a lacquer and this will protect it from the elements. But the drum itself, as you can see, that drum over there is over five years old and I've got a selection of these around my garden. So to make the clothesline holder, we've got our drum with our sturdy wheels. You will need a piece of tube. You can use plastic or stainless steel and this will be set in the concrete and you need to make sure this is level. But the first thing that we need to do is to stop the concrete uh, dribbling out. If you use a really dry mix you will be able to pour the concrete in and, and then just wipe down the outside softly as it goes off. But what I normally use is some aluminium tape and I just cover the holes on the inside and I just get a piece rough length like that. It's very cheap this tape and it's made out of aluminium and then you can just go inside and cover the holes. And I'm quickly going to go round the whole drum doing this and then we'll come back and pour the concrete in in a minute. Okay, so I've mixed some concrete now and we're going to insert this in and that's the straightest edge and we're going to put that in the middle and what I'm going to do is just fill around it. Now the other thing that you can do while doing this is you can actually insert your old concrete block off the washing machine. Just break it up and use that as well because it's pointless using, throwing anything away and just go round, slowly fill this up and as you can see I put the tape on the inside. You can just use a plastic bag and we'll go round and fill this up. So you need to fill the drum all the way up and also make sure you really aerate the concrete because you don't really want to get many bubbles in there. So just using your trowel, go round and keep pushing it all the way through. Don't worry if any liquid comes out here because over the course of the next couple of hours we could just wipe it down with a damp cloth. And I try to have a little bit of slope on the uh, from the middle going outwards. So if we have any rainwater, it just runs freely off. Okay, the first thing you want to do is put a bar down through the tube. Now this is not perfect, but it will allow me just to make sure this tube 
is level because when you put your clothesline up you don't want it to be leaning at an angle and that will do us then carefully lift this out and now you can put your pebbles set into the concrete and then we can clean everything up with a sponge as it sets. So once you've got everything set in, over the course of the next half hour to an hour as the concrete sets, just go round with a damp sponge to remove all the surplus cement. Okay, there we go. And just to show you how easily this moves, and this is 200 kilo, okay, it is on a very smooth uh, plate, and we just need to touch up there but in oh five six hours this concrete will be set but I suggest you don't paint it until two three days time once the concrete cures and then any little bits like that you'll be able to just wipe off and everything and then you can paint all the way through in between the pebbles it does look very nice also with seashells and as I said this makes a great clothesline holder you can even use them for barbecue tables if you make a pole to go in and have a nice table and then you can push them around on the barbecue and they're not going to get knocked over. And there you go, you've got a very nice table now. It's the next day and the cement has all gone hard and that's got to be painted. So you can actually take this to location, lock it in place, then get your clothesline or table, whichever you want to use it for. And as you can see, it's quite a windy day, and that is very sturdy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. Thanks very much indeed for watching.